what? Shoo! Do you have a large family? I sure do. I'm the oldest of four kids. That makes me responsible for everything. What constitutes in a big family? In 2013, two children and two adults was the size of an average family. Sometimes it can feel that a big family is a burden. Is there really more to it? My family can't even manage to take a nice picture together. What surprises me is that I've learned that through my research there are also benefits. Children in bigger families learn to have better social skills. They share more readily and have easier time making friends. 20,000 American kindergarten teachers said that the majority of kids with only one or two no siblings don't have as developed social skills as those children in bigger families. Most children in big families are sharers and givers. Siblings can count on each other for companionship. Neighbors and friends come and go, but siblings are with us for a long time. Children and older si with older siblings are exposed to and, to and learn more advanced vocabulary. Although they might not know the meaning of those words, older siblings can always explain to them. There are even more benefits. Believe it or not, although kids may not enjoy it, parents always get housework, housework help. Children in larger families learn responsibility by doing chores to help. In a small family, there usually isn't much to clean, so parents do most of the work. Children learn about teamwork, both in and outside the house. When you have a big family, you can have full sports teams. Also, you can get family discounts when you buy in larger quantities. To add on, older siblings can always babysit their younger siblings. This helps parents because babysitters cost a lot of money sometimes. Parents in, with big families can keep, leave their older children in charge and pay them a dime or two. When children grow older, they learn to love better because they can share and have spent their lives learning how to compromise. They are less likely to divorce. They maintain stronger friendships and are experienced in child care. There, there are some disadvantages. The house is always loud. Expect lots of disagreeing and shouting. There are also problems with money. Trips cost a lot, so big families don't end up going on that many vacations. A college education is expensive. Putting multiple children through college is very difficult. A large family requires a large living space. When you need a big house, you need a lot of money. With that money, you have to buy the house, pay the taxes, and other house household expenses. That runs into a lot of money. If you live in a big family, your parents have many mouths to feed. You might injure annoying hand-me-downs. Getting enough attention can be a, also be a problem. My parents are always running around to clean up the little kids and give me and my siblings a ride. They never have a chance to give us the attention we need. Sophisticated space, disagreeable odors, and getting rides are also problems in the house. It's crazy, really crazy. When you have a big family, there will be a birth order. There is an actual theory that, that birth order helps make people who they are. The first child, like me, is said to be an achiever. They are also known to be serious, skilled in many areas, and perfectionist. Yeah, that's me. The parents, to parents, they are the guinea pigs, not the actual animals, but the ones on whom the parents learn how to be good parents. They are organized, conservative, ambitious, creative, and good le leadership skills. We're known to be goal setters, and we are logical and aggressive. That's us. The second child, also known as very annoying past like my sister, are competitive and may try to overtake the first child. They may also try to be rebellious to get attention. The middle child can be competitive, but they can also be sociable, friendly, outgoing, and laid back. They are also meditators and conflict avoiders. Although they can be sec secretive, most middle children are floaters. This means they can fit in and make friends anywhere they go. Lastly, the youngest child is known to be a charmer, affectionate, uncomplicated, entertaining, tentious, engaging, but manipulative. They want to contribute the world and have an I'll show them attitude. 
In most cases, if parents are both only child, children or first child of a small family, they usually don't have many kids. In other cases, when the parents are the youngest of many or have a big family, they're likely to have a bigger family. A large family can affect the parents as well. To begin with, my mom said that she feels bad because she wants to give a lot of attention to each child, but once she has to give attention to other kids, it can get overwhelming. She also said that having a lot of kids can sometimes make her housework easier. We kids can play by ourselves and we don't, won't bother her in most cases. She loves to experience the different age groups and different personalities. On the other hand, she can't go on that many vacations and do other activities that she likes. My dad, for instance, says that he is happy with having a big family, although sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming. It's either craziness or excitement. Sometimes it can be both. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Although a big family affects the parents, we kids have thoughts about it too. Sometimes it is it isn't so awesome, but at other times it's kind of fun. I get to boss my siblings around and treat them like toys. And, and anyway, enough about me. My cruel, annoying, complaining sister. Sorry. Anyway, Olivia said that having a big family can make her laugh sometimes and make her annoyed sometimes. That's what we kids think. Having a big family can be a burden at times, but it can also be a gift. After talking about this to you, I'm starting to think differently about my family. Even though there are many disadvantages, there are more rewards. So, if you have a big family, think about it. Look deeper. There's more to having a big family than a burden. Having a big family is awesome. And thanks to my whole family, my dad, my mom, Olivia, Justin, and Grace, and Mrs. Weissman.